So I'm actually really excited to film this next sonnet because I think it's probably my favourite of the Fair Youth sonnets so far. Not because I have a silly idea in mind for the translation. Uh, no, sometimes my translations can be almost like comedy sketches. The last two definitely have been. But this sonnet, to me, is Shakespeare's most realistic depiction of love so far. See, normally I find his views on love quite adolescent. He swings from this overly idealised perfection of love to this almost paranoid feeling of fear and jealousy. But this one is really relatable and quite mature. So I want to perform the translation as earnestly as I can. And because this sonnet is so beautiful and so lovely, please bear in mind, I'm not a musical theatre actor, but I thought it'd be really nice to finish it with a song. My love is strengthened, though more weak in seeming. I love not less, though less the show appear. That love is merchandised, whose rich esteeming the owner's tongue doth publish everywhere. Our love was new, and then, but in the spring, when I was wont to greet it with my lays, as Philomel in summer's front doth sing, and stops his pipe in growth of riper days. Not that the summer is less pleasant now than when her mournful hymns did hush the night, but that wild music burdens every bough, and sweets grown common lose their dear delight. Therefore, like her, I sometime hold my tongue, because I would not dull you with my song. I love you more now than I ever have before, even though you might think I don't show it as often or as obviously as I used to do. You see, there's a danger of love becoming almost like a product to sell when it's written about in songs and poems all the time. And I know I used to write sonnets about you all the time, but that was in the honeymoon period back in the early days of the relationship. You know how a nightingale sings loud and clear at the beginning of summer and then gets quieter towards the end? Well, it's not because the summer gets less pleasant as it goes on, but because there's birdsong everywhere. And something as beautiful as birdsong becomes less special when it's there constantly. So just like the nightingale, I've been quiet for a little bit because I don't want you to get sick of me and my poems. I want them to be special, like you. So, to prove that I do love you so much, this is for you. to finish it with a song.